What's up guys? So today's topic is how did, we'll start with Cardi B only because she's on my mind. So we'll start with how did Cardi B become successful? This is not to down Cardi B or to limit her um, abilities. Just attuning to spirit and see what spirit has to say about the level of success that Cardi has attained and how she obtained that success so that maybe there is something that we can learn in this video to reach that level of success as well. If you're interested, please watch it. Um, I have no biases towards this. Yes, I, I have a, you know, I did write about it. She's in one of the chapters of my book, The Personification of Beauty, but I'm coming forth with no bias. I'm asking spirit, how did Cardi B become successful? And then hopefully we can learn from something. So as I pull these cards, <laughs> the nine of um, wands is coming out. As I pull these cards, watch this quick video about, um, Something I like to tell you, and then I'll come back with the message. I've manifested over two hundred thousand dollars so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit, to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace up god i'm back so the first thing i noticed is in this spread is the number 99 if you look up geometrical values of the number 99 gematria g-e-m-i <laughs> g-e-m-a-t-r-i-a but anyway if you look up the geometrical value of the number 99 it will align with or equate to a lot of things and one of those things is the favor of god so let's first and foremost Cardi B has the favor of God and that helped her to obtain the level of success that she has. When you have the favor of God on your life, that means your efforts are matched or you things happen in your life to align you to your highest purpose and you reach your highest potential in life, period. But let's go next. Let's, number two, what else did she do? This is the nine of wands. This is a last ditch effort to reach your goals. This is overcoming the hardest. What did she say in one of her songs? Knock me down nine times, but I get up 10. Well, I was about to curse. That just really lit a fire in my ass. She got up 10 times. So this is knocking down nine times and getting up 10 times. I didn't mean to be loud like that, but that just really just lit a fire in my ass. You know, sometimes you want to give up. Sometimes you're, you're motherfucking tired, especially on a spiritual journey in life. Um, you know, when you're reaching your goals and you're striving for your goals and shit is not happening as fast as spirit tells you. <laughs> spirit is like, things are happening right now. No, I trust spirit. Spirit is always right. But, I mean, you know, sometimes you grow impatient. And sometimes I grow impatient and, you know, you're trying and you're getting knocked down. You're getting back up and you're getting fatigued. There's spiritual warfare. There's people that you have to distance yourself of so you can maintain your energy. There's responsibilities that can be pulling away from your energy sometimes. And sometimes you get... Not down nine times, but Cardi B got up 10 times. That's number two. Second key to Cardi B's success. Knock down, get knocked down nine times, but get up 10. Put that last ditch effort towards the manifestation and the fruition of your goals. Period, sis. Period. Or bro, period. <laughs> so, number one, she had the favor of God. Number two, Regardless of how many times she got knocked down nine times, she got up the 10th time. And that was the key to her success. She overcame the obstacles along the way, and she did not let it allow to stop her um, on her path. Okay, so what was the third key? The third key to Cardi B's success, King of Cups. 
She was unmoved. She had her foundation on the rock. Now, the King of Cups, if you look in the background, the waters are wavy. But look at him. He's solid. He remains solid through the chaos. So through being knocked down and maybe fatigued and going through drama, going through um, tests and trials and tribulations, being tested by the, you know, the storm, the, the turbulence, the tumultuous waters, the King of Cups is unmoved. Emotions in order. Master of inner and outer worlds, master of your emotions, master of your spirit, master of your outer world, knowing that everything is working together for your good, knowing that you're being in a position to being put in a position to receive. This was she perfect? No, but she did something perfect and she, she's young as fuck and she was able to manifest the life that she has right now on the level. She was able to use her favor that she had placed on her life to manifest her best life. You could do that too. And the third key is. Remain, keep your solid foundation on the rock. Your foundation, if you want to look up foundation on the rock, it's a sermon. It's not a sermon. It's the, I guess it's a sermon. Uh, but it's in the Bible. It's about being unmoved. It's about knowing who you are and remaining in your power regardless of what's happening around you because you know who you are and you know what's going on. You know why it's going on. Remain, keep your foundation on the rock. So, third key. She had her foundation on the rock. She maintained solid. She maintained control over her inner outer worlds, meaning her emotions, her spirit, her body, uh, and everything around her, knowing that regardless of what was happening, regardless of getting knocked down nine times, regardless of uh, whatever she had to go through, she knew that it was putting herself in a position to receive and manifest her best life. So she remained solid throughout of it. So the fourth key is humility. With the strength card, this is just showing that she had humility. She exercised restraint. Um, what she, again, before the trolls say anything, y'all like to talk shit on my channel. I don't really care, honestly. But, you know, since you're going to come here and talk shit, if you come here and talk shit, um, it doesn't mean she was perfect, but she was humble. Overall, she's humble. She exercised restraint. You see how that lion, she could use that to... You exercise her power and attack anyone and win but you know with the strength card she's balanced look at that infinity sign over her head she know that god got her back regardless so she doesn't have to attack ferociously and kill anyone or hurt anyone or attack anyone um ferociously because god got her back now we're talking we're tuning to this is right before the abundance um these are the steps she had to take right before the abundance. These are the steps, the steps to her manifestation process. However, this is this is key regardless. Exercise and restraint, showing humility, knowing that, yeah, I have the power to annihilate you, but I'm not going to because God got my back. Everything works together for my good. I'm balanced. I'm graceful. Look at this. Look at her. She's graceful. She's she's keeping control over her inner lion and outer lion and abilities to attack people because she knows that she has to remain balanced. Eight is also the number for balance, and the strength card is you know the eighth card, and then you have the infinity. That's another eight. You know, it's about maintaining your inner and outer balance. Remember, she's the master of her inner and outer worlds. So she exercised restraint when she needed to. She's not attacking at, on attack mode all the time. And then if any time you get out of your humility and get out of the um, energy of being in balance, you just return to it. I have my moments and spirit tells me when something happens, I get messages immediately. Remove those negative thoughts. Check yourself. Find out where those feelings come from and address them, but, you know, that's not cool. Spirit helps me along the way. I'm sure she has her guides to help her as well, but she exercised strength as well. Strength in the process, remain resilient and strength, but this is about humility. She exercised humility. So this is cool. She had the favor of God. She got knocked down nine times, got up ten. She maintained... Um, a, a solid foundation on the rock, master of her inner and outer worlds. Regardless of the storm around her, she remains solid and continuously towards her goals, putting herself in a position to receive, not being moved, not being swayed away. And she exercised humility. So we have four keys so far. And what is the next step? Next, she accumulated wealth. 
So the things that she did before, following her dreams, overcoming obstacles, remaining solid and, hum and, and humble, she had a tool. She had she was the tool. She first of all, she was the tool. Secondly, she had a tool. She was a tool and she had a tool. You're your brand. When you are creating a product or service, you are also a brand, putting yourself in a position to receive from God, you know, utilize your favor from God. But you also, some of us may also have a tool, like Cardi B also had a tool. She had mixtapes mix before she had a deal. She had, you know, her Instagram channel. She had whatever, everything that she had to, you know, accumulate wealth or accumulate a brand or accumulate an audience. She did that. She did that. She accumulated wealth. But I think um, what's really good about this spread, and I'll get to it in a second, is what she did next. So I won't spend much time on this. She accumulated wealth. All the things she did before put her in a position to receive here. And before I go to the next key, I just want to show you guys the bottom of the deck was the magician. So this is showing us, this is attuning to, this is just reassuring us that this is the manifestation process that she used. But that's available for us as well. You got the favor of God on your life too. Ask God. If you feel like you don't have the favor of God on your life, ask can you, how can I get it? But I, you probably do have, I have the favor of God on my life and you probably have it too. So again, use your favor and manifest your best life. Anyway, look at the next one, the world. See, you cannot make this stuff up. Like, this is how you gain the world. What's up, God? Key six. Extra burdens. She carried extra burdens. That's why I said, we, you know, it's interesting what she did next. So you accumulate wealth. You don't just stay there because there is a next level of wealth. And that is the queen of pentacles. That's, this is prosperity on another level. This is prosperity, fertility, success. This is a whole new level of success. So she didn't stay at the nine of pentacles, which is one, which is, which is success and abundance. This is success. She didn't stay there. She carried extra burdens. She did extra things, extra tasks. She look overexerted herself. Look at him. He's carrying all the wines. He's, you know, it's beautiful in the background. He looking nice, got nice clothes on, beautiful background, but he's still working because he wants to feel complete. He wants to fulfill his purpose. Ten. This is the tenth of wands, which is the X is the number for ten, and it's completion and fulfillment. She wanted completion. She wanted fulfillment and satisfaction. So she carried those extra tasks. She wanted to fulfill her role. She wanted to fulfill her purpose. She wanted to fulfill the reason why she was elevated in the first place, the reason why she has the favor of God on her life. So she carried extra burdens. She completed extra tasks. And guess what? I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. She got to new levels of success. Look at this. Look at this. She's the queen of pentacles now. She's not just, and this is all, this is wonderful. That's the thing about it. This is awesome, but this is freedom. This is liberation. She wanted more. She wanted abundance on another level. And she was called for it. She had the favor of God. She was called for it. So she carried extra burdens to get there. Um, last but not least, key seven. Last but not least. She stood up for what she believed in. You see the wands coming at her, the jealousy, the hate. This is about being put in a position that you worked hard for, but people are still envious. You're in an envious, you're in an enviable position. But it is also alluding to just standing up for what you believe in anyway, um, fighting against injustice and whatever you feel called to do. But this is saying that she stood up for what she believed in. She stood up for herself. And that is also a key to success. Um, it's not about getting to a level of success and then being a doormat or being another puppet. She stood up for what she believed in. And that's probably a reason why she was chosen for this as well. Because she's not afraid to stand up for what she believed in and what's right for other people. You see this? He's fighting back those other sticks. And he's on the top. And he's fighting them back because fuck that. I'm not here just to be a puppet or a, a, somebody just let go with whatever, go with the flow of injustice. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. And that's what she did. And that's why she's been put in the position that she's put in. That's probably what the favor of God comes from. To stand up for what you believe in. It's not just about you. It's not just about her. And this could also allude to her as well. Standing up for herself, period. But standing up for others as well. 
because you worked hard for your success. So you don't have to just let allow people to attack you. Sometimes you have to take up for yourself. Sometimes you exercise restraint and humility. Sometimes you take up for yourself. You have to have the ability to discern between when you're supposed to do each. So that was the last, last key. Um, what did we have? The favor of God. We had getting knocked down nine times, getting up ten. Being a master of your inner or outer worlds, which is foundation on a rock. But number three, number four was humility, exercise and restraint. Number five, we have accumulating abundance. Um, but yeah, that put her in a position to accumulate abundance. And then number six, we have um, carrying extra burdens. Even though you've accumulated abundance, you're still going to carry extra burdens to reach that next level of success. And number seven, we have setting up what you believe in. Then on the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. This is the magician blessing you when you've done those things. This is the world in your hands. Blessing you with the world of your dreams. Blessing you with the world in your hands. So honoring connections. You have the hermit. The light guiding you. The light seeing that you go through the things you need to go through to get where you need to go. To follow your highest purpose. This is following the light. This is nine. Look at that number nine. This is another nine. Look up the number nine. It's the number for divine blessings. It's the number for divine gifts. It's the number for the nine spirits. Of the, it's like nine gifts of the tongue. Nine gifts and spirits, whatever. Look, divine blessings. Look up the number nine. Number 99 is the favor of God. But look, it's 999 in this reading. Look it up. Um, what's 99279? Nine always. The multiplication of nine plus each other always equals the number nine. Anyway, that's a whole other video. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles which is abundance and blessings and being blessed. Yep, out the blue, being blessed and chosen. So this was awesome. I just wanted to do a video. I'm going to do these. If you have a celebrity that you would like for me to do a video on, how did this person become successful, what what was their manifestation process, um, hit me up. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment on the person that you would like for me to do the video on. This was awesome. I know some of y'all probably thought I was going to say the Illuminati, but y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess. <laughs> what is it? You don't even know what the Illuminati is. If it's such a secret, why does everybody know about it? It's not a fucking secret. Then it, it's not what it's meant to be if it's open. So anyway, um, that was awesome. Thanks for watching. Peace.